Hey, Malik, good to see you again. Um, what would you say is the biggest difference uh, now that you're a receiver playing under Courtney Messingham as opposed to uh, last season? Um, i say the biggest difference right now is the understanding of the offense. Uh, it's always a blessing having your OC as the uh, your receivers coach. So you get to go in depth on a lot more pass schemes, run schemes, and just uh, better your understanding of our offensive uh, gameplay. You seem to really turn it on late last season, um, but kind of struggled out of the gate. What was the difference there? Why do you think you were so much better as the year ended? Um, uh, just I was, I say, just the focus uh, during the season, going through a lot of stuff off the field, and just being able to really focus. And when the team needed me the most, I was just trying to push through. Is that something you can carry over and uh, use right now going into next season? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what's the main thing you're working on developmental-wise right now? Uh, developmental, just being that guy that if the coach needed me to go block or go catch a pass or anything, just being that guy that when the players need to be called on, that my coach can depend on me. You see, do you kind of see yourself as a, a leader of the unit right now? Uh, yes, sir. What 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 kind of staff are you doing to to help out in that regard? Um, as far as the leadership, as in my in the receivers room right now, uh, taking a lot of the young guys on the wings. We're always up here doing extra work, jug catches, uh, watching film, just trying to bring them a part of the game. And uh, last one for me, what's it like to have Skyler back out there throwing passes again? Uh, it's always a true blessing. You know, Skyler's been here since I've got here. He's a great leader, great quarterback. And he's one of the guys that when he's in the huddle with you, he's going to push you. So just having that, that energy on the field back with us is going to be tremendous. All right. Thanks, Malik. Not no problem. John? Yeah, Malik, uh, you talking about the focus there. Is it fair to say that you're, you're kind of rejuvenated right now and you have a greater sense of focus than you have in, in the past? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think this is – I'm 100% locked in. And th this offseason, we're really going at it strong in all aspects of the weight room, film, football, our practice. So I'm dialed in, ready to just to contribute to my team. Was there a moment last year where you could kind of pinpoint when it was that that happened for you at, at the end of the season? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. As far as the, the rest of the receiver room, we've heard a lot of – good things about Keenan Garber just from people that have come on and talked so far. What have you seen from him in, in spring ball to this point? Uh, Keenan is a tremendous athlete, man. The stuff that he has is uncoachable. God goodies. Uh, he's real fast. He can jump, catch. Uh, he's going to be a great asset to our receiving uh, core. Are there any other young receivers or other receivers that are standing out to you right now? Uh, Eric Hommel, uh, Phillip Brook, uh, Seth Porter. Uh, we have some pretty young guys, uh, new incoming freshmen. Brandon Hawkins, he's been real good lately. I know throughout your career, some of the injuries have to have been frustrating. Uh, just what, what have you, what kind of steps have you taken in the off season to to try and ensure you know that you can make your body more durable and that kind of thing? Uh, as far as that uh, nutrition, flexibility, mobility, spending more time in the weight room with Coach True, gaining weight, learning how to really maintenance my body. Do you, what, what are you up to right now? How much weight have you put on in the off season? Um, right now, I say I'm at 203. Okay. Appreciate it, Malik. Thanks, man. Uh, no problem. Go back to Kellis. Hey, Malik, when, when you think back to last season, none of the receivers really had big years. Why do you think that was? What kind of held you guys back uh, collectively? Um. I really pinpoint that. I feel like everybody just went through their own different things. But I feel like yeah, that's just a, a tricky one right there. It's like focus still wasn't there. We do a lot of us do with a lot of us. So how about you? Are you just are you feeling a lot happier now to be back out there for spring ball? Oh yes, sir, a hundred percent. Okay, and John kind of touched on this, but is is it is it a goal for for you next year to be out there every single play, kind of be the Brett Favre who can play through whatever comes at you? Oh yes, sir, hundred uh, percent. I want to be that person that's going to be an every down receiver, uh, forcing a block game and forcing a passing game.